Hello everyone, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So today, what am I going to be doing today? By the lake west of Hogwarts Boathouse. I'll just uh, give th uh, this thing another shot, trying to find the leaky caves. Okay, fine. Lake west of the boathouse, so... I assume that means in this general area. Hmm. And the waterfalls? No. I don't think this is it. Nope. This isn't it. Revelio. Surely, the, uh, there's some indicator. Let me just Here's solve this puzzle tables, here. Professor Shaw mentioned. Apparently, I've already solved this one. Let's try th uh, this side here. I don't think I'm just supposed to, uh, to keep swimming in the lake until something appears. Nope. Well, let's see, maybe it is behind the waterfall. Nope. And nope. Also, how is my character not freezing to death? Or at least, you know, cold. I don't know. Hang on, maybe she uh, she knows something else. Something she didn't tell me. Ah, here she is. About what we discussed, Narada. The Mer people? Yes? I'm hoping you'll be able to dive down and retrieve the gift they left me. Hey. I really should look into Gillyweed. Let's try. 
try under here then. It's a broom. Alright, I'm just gonna assume that uh, I'm missing some important detail. Alright. Let's go to the map room and just get the main quest going. I don't want to waste more time on, on this lake thing, Icky cave. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. It's interesting that he's dressed in green. This guy is dressed in red, yellow, and blue. I don't know, I guess I kinda... Uh, kinda expected that he would be uh, in red, Gryffindor colors. Uh, because he's the one with Professor, the powers. you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Hmm. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. Indeed. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Hmm. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. Okay. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that, that you witnessed. That was a weird noise. There we are. Hmm, there was another mission here. Oh well. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I had blue powder. No need to race now, my friend. Away, high wing! Away! Oh yeah, Broom is much faster. Let's bring 
Let's see, there should be... Nope. Should be a village somewhere around here. Ah, here it is. And this village should have this. Wonder who lives here. Slow down now. There, there we, we are. Go. Let's go. Come on, High Wing. Oh, that's stuttering. Is that a, a dragon? This looks intriguing. No need to race now, my friend. It's the same kind of sculpture I saw. I think it was in Hogsmeade. Ah, turn left here and up the river. Hmm. Yep, I get the feeling there's like an entrance here or something. <laughs> like here. up is unavailable right now as is mounting hello you professor here. i have good news we do not have any of ranrock's loyalists to contend with of that, course that the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the keepers Revelio. This place could do with a bit of pruning. Can bring us There's the face. It? it is. I believe I know what must be done. Oh, that's the final mount. Is it going to be that big? So it needs to be do done, professor. Do you recognize professor? the head sculpted there? It looks like a grab horn. And the prints carved Rap into the horn. ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of grap horns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. Hmm. Have you ever subdued a grap horn, Professor? No. I have, yes. Oh. Years ago, at Stonehenge, of all places. The Ministry still owes me for that favor. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all. But it's not impossible. It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll need to wear him down. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. 
I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. All right. I mean, if these are its footprints, it must be like a, twice the size of a, 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 a hippogriff. And I'm being very generous with just twice. I heard the ancient magic. to become stronger. No, no, no. <sighs> Should have gotten on the broom. That was my mistake. And I'm assuming... It's disabled. What the... Oh, thank God. Can bring up. Activate. Nope, can't fly in here. Fair enough. Last one. Shame I didn't have an audience for that one. Oh, went too far. All right, let's keep going. Oh, it's all the way over there. Could have just teleported. My young friend. This place has seen better days. I assume this is the skeleton of the massive sea creature. Revelio. Hmm. 
isn't the correct location. This must be the place. Yeah, that's why we went. Seriously, I needed to go up there first. This is so stupid. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself. How big is it? Oh boy. Surely this will have some effect. Nope. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. I thought it was defeated, but... Why does nothing work? Nuance way to interact with beasts or whatever the hell it was that he said, right? Very nuanced. Alright. Since none of uh, these eight spells work... I'm not gonna use dark magic for this one. Please tell me that's it. Uh, Neil? Yes. <laughs> like the hippogriff, it must be respected. I need your not help, attacked. Friend. Seriously, holy fuck is it big. Raphorn is a powerful charge attack that deals a large amount of damage uh, to enemies in certain barricades. Hold uh, left mouse button to initiate. Keep an eye on the grab horn's stamina meter as charging will drain it. Slow down now. Where is the stamina meter? Faster. No need to race now, my friend. Can it can jump. It cannot jump or fly. It just goes in a straight line. But it is big. Poachers. Let's see how the Lord of the Shore feels about his neighborhood being invaded. Seriously? Oh, crap, that was... Yeah. 
This thing is OP as hell. You killed our eyes. Ah, so bring us. You will not aid in the cloud. A little bastard. Hope you're not doing anything. Is it you? Now you're just getting on my nerve. Alright, time to swap back what I had. Let's see, let's switch that for that. Put that there and put that here. There we are. It's shameful rebellion. All right, I'm hoping I can just teleport to where I need to be. Yes. <clears throat> and though I do like the triumphant music, the fact that I can't even cast the, the compass spell the key to opening the room. Uh, makes this very annoying. Ah, Seriously, it is are. enormous. At least it's not as big as the, uh, the statue there. Maybe that's an older one. I'm guessing the grab horn doesn't fit. Oh, it. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, oh, it does, but no. Rebellion. It well, at least now I have the grab horn. I can get its horns and upgrade my gear. Perhaps Professor Rockham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Okay. Rebellion. That's it? No, really, that's it. I thought there would be like a big thing here. They're getting easier every every second. <clears throat> the one with the Deathly Hallows was already pretty easy, but this one... All I did was fight a magical beast, kneel before it, to show it its due respect. And that was it. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? Let me guess, she's feeding on the... Uh, the pain, like a Dementor, like I said. <sighs> Mr. Morganak, I... What's wrong with him? Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. First of all. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. 
Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. What the hell? We must gather the others. to return to your common room, all right? What the hell is wrong with her that she would experiment on students without their consent? Even if she doesn't think of it ex as experimenting, she must know that consent is a big issue here. What have you done? Your breath. Students, Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? He won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora, set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! That's the way it's gonna be. Jesus. Good thing she didn't know of the Elder Pond, because this could have gone very, very differently. Come on, there's four of you. Holy shit. Seriously? I think she's being drained into, into that capsule. Nope. Revelio. I don't even know what to say here. He just straight up murdered her with uh, the killing curse. The unforgivable. What's going on? Why is why is nothing happening? Speak with the keepers, yeah? I'm here. Maybe... Why won't it trigger? Ah, here we are. The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see... We could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us, to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, 
and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. Of to course. enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So really? the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. <coughs> well, I'm going. I shall send an owl mm. ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. All right. Well, uh, I'm going straight to Ollivander's. Can't seem to be able to teleport. Can I teleport now? Yes. Finally, from desk of Pierce Pemberton. No, this is Pierce Pemberton. I know what uh, you think you're doing, but I suspect you are the one who has been interfering with a rather personal matter. The demigod statues and the moons contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. Hmm. I'll go to Ollivander's. I'm assuming I can do that without without waiting for a quest to unlock or something. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Might be a point of no return, though. There's Ollivander's. I hope he can help me craft the Keeper's Wand. And I hope this isn't a point of no return. That definitely suck. Hmm. Well, let's speak with this person first. Those statues took time and effort. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? Hmm. They're quite clever. Oh, thank you. A lot of craftsmanship and care went into them. Down, I assume. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am. At the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> Ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> mm -hmm. hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully, gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. Okay. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Hmm. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. 
I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired to play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. Interesting. The statues are a form <coughs> of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, I do want to craft the Keeper's Wand. Okay, so I'm gonna save under the assumption that the quest can be completed without setting off a chain of quests. Uh, if it does set off a chain of quests, I'll be reloading. One sec. Alright. Saved. And let's go to Olifanders. What? Rebellion. Oh. Must have been just a bug. Mr. Ollivander? Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Good to see you, my young Ravenclaw friend. Allow me once again to express my family's gratitude. They were pleased to learn that the wand Richard Jackdaw disappeared with those many years ago had been located, even if it was somewhat unusable. Glad to hear it. Now, I received an owl from Eleazar, uh, Professor Fig. He was a bit cryptic, said you need to have a special wand crafted, that you'd bring me the materials. Yes, Indeed. sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, <coughs> aren't you? I, I have think complete I can faith in your abilities. You brought me. Let me see what I can do. Now he comes out of there with the Elder Wand. That'd be hilarious. Oh. It is done. Do I get to customize this one too, or...? Whoa. I hope I get to keep it. I should warn you, I've never seen a wand like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. Great. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Nothing. Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? 
I have no idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> that repository is my birthright. Charles Rookwood Tough wouldn't tits. want you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I don't love Vada Kedavra your ass. Children should be seen and not heard. You're the one who cursed Anne. Oh, I am so killing you. Oh, okay. Scratch that idea. Seems like this does, in fact, set off uh, a quest chain. Oh, 
I said I'd uh, just reload if this happened, but then I decided, you know what, let's just go with it. Why don't you come and fight for yourself then, instead of sending your lackeys? What the? What kind of bubble is that? Okay, that was overkill. Revelio. Thought I was just going to like, uh, leave him unconscious or something. That is. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I need to send an alpha Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what happened. Okay. Seriously, did not expect that I would be calling Rockwood like this. Rockwood. Rebellion. I prefer the latter. Aloha Mora. Rebellion. Okay, there's another chest there, and I think it's the last one. Seems to be. Stuttering. All right. Um, defend Hogwarts from Renrock. Well, I'm hoping that only happens if I actually go 
into the uh, the map chamber. So if I'm right, faculty tower. Duncan owes his reputation to you. I guess. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. Hmm. Should I put it as friend or what? It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, my unknown! Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks! Oh, we used to laugh about them! <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all! Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. He is not a very clever man. Alright, that's complete apparently. Uh, I'm going into the room of requirement so that I can put this scrap horn into a pen. Deke thinks you've made marvelous improvements here. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. That's strange. I kind of thought there would be, um... Hello. Uh, there would be a new area. Jesus Christ, that is big. Oh, Maybe big, but everybody loves belly scratches, apparently. Okay, three horns. Anything that needs to be identified? No. And I'm assuming there's a an achievement for getting all legendary gear with level three traits and um, and all maxed out. That is going to be everything for today, I guess. I get the feeling that Graphorn, Phoenix, and the Unicorn are unique. So I should probably get the Unicorn out from... Where is it? Gonna put it here. No, there were two Unicorns, right? Well, I get the feeling that the, uh, <coughs> the Phoenix and the Graphorn are unique. So, my gut tells me I should just leave them there, because uh, 
there aren't going to be any more that I can breed with, or that they can breed with, rather. So yeah, you should be that is going to be everything for today. Uh, next time I'm going to meet Poppy in the Forbidden Forest. I'm hoping that um, I can uh, hold off the Fen Hogwarts from Ranrock thing. I'm assuming it's the very last mission in the story. So I'm gonna do this the next time and try to figure out where the leaky caves are. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again next time.